Hello. Hello, everyone. What Hello. up? Roan is back. Hello. Good to see you. What did I miss? Nothing. 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 Not a goddamn so thing. Actually, nothing has changed since you've probably, left. Probably most boring couple days. <laughs> Can't think of one thing. Uh, Man, that's great then. I, that's always great to not have to catch up. Yep. Oh, one, oh, we did have one thing. Uh, KB sandbagged us. What? That New Oregon Trail sucks. Sucks. <laughs> it was sucks. So bad. It was our most boring we were, ever. We were an hour in and we're like, can we stop this? Nothing happened. And then we realized, we're like, wait, KB made us fucking play this one. Uh, He's out here. <laughs> it was it was comically bad. I would have rather gone to the neurologist. <laughs> yes, neurologist. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. I wouldn't have guessed. I thought with new technology oh, that it could have. They ruined a better. perfect game. Yeah. It was like. It took the soul out of you it. You had to make a million more decisions. Oh, yeah, yeah. That sucks. And yeah. like. We, Birds yeah. would fly by. That's my issue to, with video yeah. games in general. They shouldn't be complex. Yeah. There should be three buttons. Every video game should be three buttons. We lived and learned. Yeah, we did. We do a live show every day. Some of them suck. That one sucked. Oh, the show around the I would say, I would say fine. few of, of them suck. That's That's a. Yeah, us. yeah. Some when they suck. Oh, they suck. oh boy, <laughs> they suck. I liked that it was titled "Oregon Fail." That was a good name. Yeah. So what's up, everyone? I missed you guys. I, I love doing this. I show. Missed you a lot, Ron. Yeah. I love doing. I love fucking yakking it up. Where was you? Were. Oh, <laughs> L.A. Dude. Talking like my three and a half year old. Now. <laughs> so normally too. You, that was every tense. <laughs> <laughs> I was out in L.A. with Pat Bev, dude. He uh, he says what's up. Oh, nice. He didn't say that. Just to KB or to all of us? Who, who, did he answer my question? Yeah, he did. It was a, should I tell Tune you? in, yeah. Well, give me two of them. I, Ron asked for me to submit a question, uh, and I did as Laker Dan doing my Mount Rushmore of Lakers. Huh. And I, I saw think he put five people on, and one of them was AD. <laughs> so he, he, was, he basically was trolling like me, but r- serious. Yeah, he might as well have put his own starting lineup in there. Like, yeah, my, my Mount Rushmore was uh, Shaq. LeBron, Kareem, Nick Van Exel. Ooh. Is this the first time Laker Dan's are, uh, appeared? It's been, in, it's been a years? while. It's been three years since he's made an appearance. He now, Laker a Dan is a harbinger of, of <laughs> yes. bad things. Oh, right? yeah. He's oh, a, yeah. Laker Dan and the Mothman are one and the same. One of for people who don't know, I the night before Kobe died, which I didn't know was going to happen, LeBron passed him, I think, in all-time points. Yeah. <laughs> And I just went on a tweet stream being like, LeBron's the greatest Laker of all time. Yeah. Five Lakers and didn't rank Kobe. And he died like 12 hours later. Uh-huh. And all my tweets were there, and everyone was just found the old ones. And they were fresh, oh, too. Fuck. And people were looking for some, people were just Googling <laughs> Kobe's name and looking for some type of slander to fucking lay on him. Yeah, I should, actually, him. I should actually personally thank Ari Shafir. He kind of <laughs> helped me with that, taking some heat off. He got you out of that hole. Yeah. <laughs> Legend, an absolute legend. But you came back, though, with a vengeance, and I think that there's always room for reconciliation with things like that. Everyone deserves a second chance, even Laker Dan. Yeah. Thank you, I appreciate it. And Nick Van Exel was a pretty good Laker there for a couple Quick, of years. Quick, right? Yeah. When him and Eddie Jones were on the team together, oh, that's yeah. a nice backcourt. A little pre-Kobe action? Yeah. That said Sabalas coming off the bench? Oh, yeah, Cedric Sabalas. Didn't he get hurt on, like, a jet ski accident? Oh, he just he just went to Mexico and never came back, right? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. something like that. They traded uh, Cedric. Yeah, it is. Sabalos, too. A little yeah, Cedric Sabalos is an all time basketball name. Maybe a better name, Eldon Campbell. Not a better mm. name at all, but a good player. I was more of an Eddie Jones. That's a good, solid name. Yeah. My, Limus Swede, we were talking about last night. I loved that guy, he should have been better. At his jersey. Yeah. Great name. I know. He was supposed to be the next next up. He yeah, was next he up. was next up. He also looked like a perfect NFL receiver, yep. too. He was like 6'6. Six, six. I guess I'm a sweet. It's like a president's name from like the late yeah. 1800s. Oh, I think that's a presidential loser's name. Yeah, yeah. Lima yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Dewey like, defeats Lima. Like Van Buren beat Lima Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. God damn, that's good. Head of the Whig party. Who else has gotten the Whig party? Eat steak this uh this week. Everybody ate yesterday. We all oh, we all oh the burgers were incredible. Delicious. Were the fantastic. burgers were the saving grace of the show yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Today we got chicken tacos. Ooh. I don't Finally know got my appetite. That ain't steak. Omaha Made steaks by Omaha. But you can buy them at OmahaStakes.com. Yeah, why don't you do the ad read? 
I sure will, Big Cat. Not only do we have delicious steak on Monday, we had delicious burgers yesterday. Today we're going to have incredible chicken, and that's all there at omahasteaks.com. You can achieve gifting greatness when you give the gift of perfectly aged, tender, and delicious Omaha steaks. Their steaks are fantastic, but again, their burgers, their hot dogs, which we had the hot dogs a couple days ago. We had the chicken. We're going to have the chicken today. They have everything, and they're all terrific. They put together a delicious selection of various gift packages to make shopping easy. Oh, I'm sorry. To make shopping for the ones you love easy. I skipped the ones you love part because I don't mm. have any of those. Um, That's funny. Go to omahasteaks.com and take advantage of 50% off site wide, plus use code YAK at checkout to get an additional $40 off your order. I'll read that again. You go to omahasteaks.com, take advantage of 50% off site-wide right now, plus use code YAK at checkout to get an additional $40 off your order. They have everything that uh, you need to give a gift that's simply perfect. You can send an assortment of mouthwatering favorites like the delicious – I'm struggling. Butcher's cut filet mignon. You're doing good. I think every You're time you acknowledge the struggle. Air chilled boneless hey, chicken. On, sweetie. The ultra juicy burgers, even easy to prepare comfort meals that are ready in a flash. Don't wait. Order today and beat the shipping rush. Go to omahasteaks.com. Use promo code YAK at checkout for $40 off your order. Minimum order may be required. KB, I like your fit today. You look Thank like you, you could be yeah. working in Orange County Choppers. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Big Paul and Little Paul. Uh -huh. Just making yeah. the bikes. I gotta start dressing like this more often. You look a little Mexican. He does. Thank you. Yeah. You yeah. want to button the top? Thank you. The top. I look buttons. like a probably a bigger, um, average size Mexican. Yeah, yeah that's true. That's yeah, true. Yeah, those guys are <laughs> tiny. You look like the tallest man in Pueblo. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I need to start chilling with. The, I think the, the more you get down, like into Central America, you get shorter and shorter. Yeah. Uh -huh. why, why is that? Like, well, the El Salvadorian, they're like five two. Small roofs. Closer to the sun. Yeah, probably closer to yeah. the sun, the equator, the more gravity at the equator. Pulling. Yeah, people Kinda get taller them. to get closer right. to the sun. Yeah, warmth. Right, like that's why the Norwegians and shit are. I tall. watched yeah. Rediscovering America Alaska last night. I was working on a project, so I put it on. It was the I think it was like the I best think it was one our yet. best one. Very good. Get out. It got, the yeah. timing of the drop wasn't it was the best. It was horrible. <laughs> um, if you have four, oh, it was, of it was horrible, council, but a, yeah. I was like hooked on it. What a waste of Alaska! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now no one will I know. Totally forgot. <laughs> oh shit! That sucks. Yeah. Um, but yeah. it was so yeah. so good. I the whole hour, I I was like, oh my god, it's done already. Like good job. Like that yeah, was great. Thank you. It yeah. Was yeah. Our funny. team uh, that yeah. edits and yeah. they they're insane. Shout them out. R Rutledge. Corey. Yeah. Chris. Chris. Soli. Alyssa. Ags. Alyssa. Yeah, it was so I yeah, laughed really out loud lucky. multiple times because sometimes when you're filming, you're just like, I don't know how this is going to be good. And uh, they they make it really, really good. Mm -hmm. they, they work a lot. It was fantastic. Yeah. Mm, the boys were getting messy yesterday. <laughs> yeah, they were. You know who was jealous? Andy Cohen, dude. He'll probably <laughs> offer Rico a Bravo <laughs> show. Yeah, dude. That shit was high entertainment. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm exhausted. I haven't had a day like yesterday in a long time. What do you, how would you characterize yesterday for you? Whole internet coming at my neck. Oh yeah, when was the last time they did that? Probably the Trump. Laker Dan. Yeah, Laker Dan Trump. I don't know. It's been a long time. Yeah, and I do get triggered. I just respond to people. I shouldn't. It's a stupid thing. What were people saying? Uh, people I mean, people are saying they're dead. I'm dead to them. They're never listening again. Well, that's just let them down. I'm a yeah. queen bullshit. That's that's crazy. People are just seeing the dramatics and they want in on it. Yeah, oh, there's a lot yeah. of piling on of like, you know. That's my least favorite part about it. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah. one person did a take and then everyone's like, yeah, like let's. And I, I don't want to get all the way back into it, but I, I'm i pretty consistent in that I like to try to find the good in everyone and root for people to succeed. And maybe that's a fault of mine of giving people too many chances. But my heart is in the right place that I want. Rico to get better, and I also fully believe Cons when he said that he wants Rico to get better. So, whatever. Mm. Let's what make this is. about me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Please. I got promoted. What? Second Lieutenant Mantis Army. <laughs> oh, hell yes. Uh, yeah, the Jerry, uh, the really? Jerry reveal just was totally... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, to unnecessary, too. He just kind of put himself That's out the there. beauty of Jerry. Yeah. He's just like, yeah, my one of my top lieutenants. I was like Sass dirty. being like, yeah, I slept through the show yesterday. Yeah. Like, you didn't need to say that. You didn't need <laughs> to I hop in the just threw it out line there. of fire there. Everyone else was taking heat. Good for him, though. 
I like the I like the idea of having guys. I said on I the show. I don't want guys. Well, I don't right want, I don't away. Want guys at all. I got, got a bunch guys. of lady actors saying they'd be my guys. Yeah, you should. Oh, you should put wow. together a lady I already army. got a bunch of DMs of them, and I think we'll do that. We'll just all sync our periods up. Yeah. What are you yeah. guys gonna do? I don't know. Swap recipes. I say, if I say something bad, are you guys gonna quilt around me? <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's a group of ladies gonna do? We're gonna make you a sandwich. We're <laughs> gonna. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kate, you said you were working on a project last night. Yeah. Well, that means you were working on your homemade gift for the Yak Exchange. Oh. I was up till 2 in the morning. Oh, my God. This yes. thing. I'm very excited for your gift. I. You shouldn't be. Oh. That's the okay, thing. I'm not. It's I'm more excited it's... for Sass's $500 yeah. one. No, no yeah. offense. Someone should be excited for my gift because I literally yeah. went to my desk at home and I just went like this yeah. <laughs> into a box. Yeah. That's the one I want. And there, are, be a thousand, a thousand there are certain dollars. things in there that are expensive. Really? Yeah. Like what? Say one thing that's in there. I didn't realize. No, I don't want to ruin it. Yeah, I don't want to ruin mine either, but Why are we doing that? Zero value. Well, we got to. Right we we I didn't yeah. realize that I bought a $300 radio controlled <laughs> uh, mini boat. That someone <laughs> oh, <told me>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Mini Just boat. sitting there. I've always wanted an RC boat. boat. Yes. Yeah, and I want to. Oh, I want to yes. take it to you know where Central Park, like yes. Hey Arnold did. Yep. 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 Just crash through the little mini sailboats. Sail hey Arnold had the exact life I wanted. That boxcar derby did in the Mauve Avenger. Yeah, it was <sighs> dead parents. Oh. So, uh, oh, you didn't watch the movie. Yeah. Huh. What happened? He found his parents. Really? Yeah, they were dead. I think that his parents are alive. Oh, oh, they, they just said, abandoned him. Yeah, they crashed in the jungle and were lost. Right. He had the best room. Yeah, that room was ideal. Hey, Arnold, stoop kid. Stoop kid. Afraid to leave the stoop. Tommy's Pigeon getting man. into '90s cartoons now. Oh, that's just great. What he, was that? He's on TJ? a Nick trajectory. I watched it back. It's guys. It's uh, pretty shitty. Oh, no, it's not. It sucks. Hey, oh, Arnold? not not the when he pretends to be crazy and like hits himself with a trash oh, can. Don't hit me. I'll yeah. hit me. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. What a great show. Did you? Not too you make, do they, do they, no, Kate's what? right in that. No, what's, I'm right in there. What's the cartoon that is like that today? Like, are they making cartoons like that? Uh, I think it's just YouTube accounts. No, yeah, they're not. I think they. Hmm, I don't know. SpongeBob's kids, still making. New kids episodes. just watch other kids open toys and and play yeah, video like games. Like Scandinavian pedophiles who like dress up in yeah. wacky outfits. I Always watched is. a couple of those the other day. Like, it just. I as a parent, I know I put my son out there from time to time. I cannot imagine. Making my kids sit at a table and be like, okay, time. Like, you can feel the forcing of it. Yeah. It's so awkward mm -hmm. to me. For what? Oh, the YouTube. Like, the YouTube yeah, yeah. dads oh, are, are like, crazy. But the, they have like 50 million views. So then I'm like, all right. Maybe, maybe I could. I can monetize this child. Or something just so did you, like. Uh, did you guys see LeVar, LeVar Burton won a Lifetime Achievement Emmy? Yep. Oh, he did? Oh. Yesterday. I teared up watching. It was beautiful. Oh, wow. Well deserved. Well, well deserved. deserved. It's Reading Rainbow. Yeah. yeah. A1, A1 guy. For sure. Butterfly A1 guy. in the sky. Do, 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 do. Those are kind of educational. Do, do, do. Like, oh, look. Sesame yeah. Street. Sesame Street's educational. Oh, yeah. yeah. One of their guys just died. Bob. Yeah. The, Bob uh, just died. Big Bird, like, right? No, he was oh, Bob. The non-Muppet non in it, right? Oh. It was one of them. Well, was, there was, he played a man. There was Bob, and there was Gordon back in the 80s. Was so. he the postman? No, it was just his it, guess. His name was Bob. He was Bob. He what did Bob. he do? He I don't like Bob. this Bob guy. No, Bob from Sesame Street was just Bob, and he he would talk to the Muppets and everything. He just lived on Sesame Street, I guess, and do anything. Because Mr. Hooper died when I was a real young kid, and then Bob took his place. And then there was Gordon. Because I think Mr. Black. Noodle died of AIDS. Really? Oh. Yeah. I, I, not. I feel like I remember Mr. Noodle's that. almost. Oh, hey, Mr. Friend. Noodle. Yeah. I what? think he, they, they, he like the first one did. Huh. Very sad. Ron, what was your childhood? What did you? I feel like I don't. I didn't watch any of this yeah. shit. I don't I remember any of these people. Any see you hey, looking Arnold. lost. I don't. I I didn't watch Sesame Street as a kid. It's more just now. I watched. I watched it when I was a little kid. I did Sesame too. Street, yeah. I, I just definitely it. don't remember the, any of the. Yeah, I don't get how people remember th like things they watch as children. Damn. I remember everything I watched. Yeah, I just too. have no memory of it. I know I watched it. Like moments from shows, like a catchphrase from a Hey Arnold episode, like you just dropped. Like yeah. that's a, uh, I don't know where those neural pathways went for me, but they're yeah. fucking. Yeah, I don't have. Them. That's because don't you're have. like focusing on the now. I think it's a cope for Kate, Brandon, and I. Oh yeah. When I was yeah. eight years old and I didn't have friends and I lived out in the country in a trailer, uh, we only had three channels, but I memorized the entire NBC Thursday through Saturday night lineup, so I could tell you the cast members of Golden Girls, Empty Nest, uh, Dear John. And all of those failed 80s sitcoms, and I wish I would stop talking now. Pretty what, sad. What would eight-year-old Brandon say if he found out that Mr. Noodle was a gay man? 
I don't think eight year old Brandon would know who Mr. Noodle was because I'm not right. sure Mr. Noodle existed when oh, yeah, Brandon was eight years old. Sure did. Elmo didn't. I also might have made this whole thing up. Elmo came. Can we <laughs> fact check Mr. We fact Noodle? Check Mr. Elmo didn't come in a long time. I was like 15. I I shared the same birthday as Elmo. Yeah, we you, <laughs> you said that before. He's not real. I mean, it's like Wikipedia's got a birthday February 3rd, same as me. You said it like what? a confession. You're like, I. I share the same birthday as Elmo. <laughs> yeah, I think he's still alive. No, wait, that's the new one, <laughs> he's right? He's perpetually three and a half. All right, I might have made this up. Fuck. <laughs> uh, wait, no, no, the old one's the one on the left. See that picture? That guy. That guy. Was. He's, uh, him. he's from Air Bud. That's, um, that's a, he's in a lot of things. That's the guy from Air Bud, the yeah, clown. All right, I want to make sure he, if he, he played, didn't die from AIDS, I want to correct this. He played Mr. Yeah. Noodle's brother, Mr. Noodle. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, well, it's, that would make it's sense. His last name. Yeah, they are the same. He was, he was one of the alive? monks in Sister He's going down. Oh, he died. Oh, he was we died young. Yeah. Like the money pit. That is my answer to that question. Epilepsy. Ah, okay, so I was wrong. My you bad, were. Mr. Noodle. You're wrong. That guy was in some great... I don't know why I thought that. Yeah. <laughs> maybe it just wasn't out. Maybe, you, Shit. maybe I, you were intuitively correct about that. It's a hand up on me right there. I wo- I mourned for him, too, when I found that out like yeah. uh, a year ago. Can I just say bad. one thing? What? From last night when Dave threw me under the bus and said I threw a, uh, threw a helmet at somebody in anger because they called me a hick. That was crazy. I didn't remember... Because it didn't happen. Yeah, I, I knew you threw a helmet. I didn't know the circumstances. Wasn't I'm, there like a smile on your face when you did it? Yeah, I was, I was, I was joyful. I was, well, I was having fun. I was uh, performative. So you were taking joy and joy. Yeah, he probably right. shouldn't have said that. You I mean, the, you, yeah. the other point of like you pushing Devlin, like that was my point of like I. And again, people are gonna be like, dude, Rico's had many chances. I never, for a second, was like Brandon's a bad guy. Like I want right. him to, well, fix it. I also shook his hand five minutes later. We haven't had a problem. I know. I know. I, I just, yeah. I probably need to. Well, I don't want to bring it back up. Anyone. I don't want to bring it back up. I'm just saying I, that uh, Dave's point at me was crazy. Let's talk about Mr. Noodle's AIDS. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sure. The worst part about it is, yeah. I mean, not the worst part, but if Rico does get better, <laughs> and I hope he does, and he becomes a new person in like a year. Yeah. No one's going to be like, oh, yeah, like that was smart that like you were able to like. Get him help and make him better. Just be like, oh no, you won't get the credit. But, yeah. I don't want it, but like I'm just saying, it's a no win because it's just. And I do think he's he he unblocked Nadu. He's reaching out to Nadu. He's gonna maybe do content with him. He better. That's good. That's a good start. Gotta start some baby steps. A lot of baby steps. We gotta do the uh, wheel. Oh, wheel hmm. for tacos. So there yes. are enough for everybody. Why does he oh, eat tacos? Look so good. Yeah. Ooh. God damn, honey. Ooh. I almost, by the way, ordered clam chowder for lunch, and then I stopped, and I was like, "We're drinking eggnog." Oh, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Just double up. Clam chowder of the land. Or... <laughs> yeah. yeah. You guys are all aware we're vomiting today, right? Absolutely. Look at you, Kyle, with your tacos. Oh yeah, look at him. <laughs> like a real foo. That's a lot of tacos, uh, yeah. buddy. Hey, yeah. Kyle. <laughs> I, don't, I don't mind this. It looks bit. delicious. You really do have a totally new vibe. Oh, pass really them out. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring out more. yeah, yeah. <laughs> pass them down. What? You don't get all four of them. There's three. One per. I I, I think we're going one per. I'll take two then. Well, I, well here. Love crunchy tacos. up, so. Yeah, give him one. Oh, thank you. I think you're good. No, I don't want to take two. Hey, thanks, baby Joker. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Hell yeah. We needed you for the Oregon Trail for the uh, Native American. Yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah. It's a big mess. Was the the uh, Native American's name was Black Beaver? Yeah. Black Beaver. Wow. <laughs> a proud name. Favorite movie of all time. <laughs> Favorite movie of all time. <laughs> I love the trilogy, the Fridays, all three of them. Of Baby Joker. <laughs> That's next Friday. Yeah, yeah, next Friday. I thought you meant Black it. Beaver. I thought Black Beaver was your favorite. <laughs> what are you getting into there, Zombie? <laughs> you horny right. ass. I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. What the We were talking Black about Black Beaver, Beaver nah, when you said that was my favorite movie. Nah, nah, I was, I was responding to Baby Joker. Baby Joker. <laughs> Thank you. Mystic Warrior. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, fuck. Honey, you've been great all week. Thank you very much. These are the best so far. Clap it up for Donnie. Yep. Thank you, Donnie. Donnie, thank you. That's my favorite movies too. Is, uh, I fucking love those, and especially uh, Friday After Next. Friday After Next is a Christmas movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That's a classic. Santa, 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 Santa all I want movie. for Christmas is two fat bitches, a bag of weed, and two packets of chips with fat bitches. 
See, it is his favorite, bro. I hope I hope you don't get trapped in Zimbabwe's uh <laughs> What's the so, what's man. the status with that? It, it's a matter of time. We've got we got like congressmen reaching out and all that. For Mr. real, Mr. Dooley's helped out, and I want to I want to thank him. Yes, yeah, yeah, so matter of time. How long are you going to be back over there for? Uh, so I'm stuck there for a month because I just couldn't I couldn't get it. What's it called? Because it's Christmas period. The visa, the, the, yeah. visa, the visa closes down. Did someone help you while. out? Yeah, so, someone. Yeah, pe- a lot of people helping. Did Two you see people. the suggestion that Mincy should marry you? Yep, I saw that. <laughs> Is that on the table? I, I saw that video too. After after I saw that video yesterday. Oh yeah, I, I might yeah. Do you want to pull that up? I mean, this actually shout out, uh, largest wife, Saint Anne. She she DM'd me this video and was like, "Is this Mincy? It's it's Mincy." <laughs> oh God, it's yeah. Mincy. Yeah. I didn't see it. You didn't see it. It's no. Mincy. We've had a Tommy girl doppelganger, and then we've had a Mincy. I guess this is cross dressing. I don't know. Wait, what did it would you be. did you hear what's going on with the Tommy girl? No. So many stoolies are subscribing to her OnlyFans that she now is like aware of Barstool and oh. she's like, thank you, Tommy Smokes. I have so many, and she's sending stoolies pictures of her like. Oh my God! Look at this. Sex that's act. Mincy, right? <laughs> that is Mincy. Like, that's Mincy. <laughs> Damn, his How is that not Mincy? Crazy. Play it again. How is that not Mincy? He's standing upright. Maybe not when you zoom all the way in, but it is. <laughs> oh, fellas. <laughs> oh, fellas. Ho ho ho, fellas. I could see his legs actually money, looking fellas. like that. Have you guys yeah. ever seen his whole leg? No. Oh. Um, I could see him having beautiful legs. Pumps on the ground down in New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's crazy, though, that Kate, that she she's like rolling in the dough because of Tommy. Well, so then she's sending them pictures of her. The stoolie's like, also like S and D, second dick. And then they're screenshotting, not that part, but like sending to Tommy and being like, "Thanks, brother, you're you're great." Like, oh my he's god, getting all this residual. Um, I would yeah. hate that. No, these guys are going to be <laughs> jerking off to a Tommy surrogate. Enjoy this 13-minute video of me sucking cock and. Okay, that's yeah. weird for Tommy now. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, uh, I'd be uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. But apparently, good for her she though. Had a windfall because of Tommy. Yeah. Yep. Good for her. 13 minutes. Jesus Christ. I know. A lot. Just get it done. Mm. What, did, what did she tell him? She told him to enjoy what? A 13-minute video of her sucking dick. No, get fucked or nothing. <laughs> yeah. I'm not trying to watch Ed for that long or at That's all. crazy long. The same person? For 13 minutes? Come on. What do you think about for that long while you're down there? He's probably know. like has samurai focus. Did you go to uh, Lakers games when you were out there? No. I oh. flew in uh, uh, on Wednesday morning and then uh, took the red eye back on Thursday night. So just recorded three episodes. Have you slept? Uh, for like three hours. Oh, man. One of those. But you know what? Fucking here yakking with the boys. Damn. That's why I get man. back. And that's why Sass has no excuse. Yeah, where is he? Where is he? Where's this bitch? Where the fuck is he? Is he Buffalo? He's Buffalo. Yeah. He's buffalonian. They get buffaloed. Buffalo, he's got to pay buffalo, for his buffalo. gift. Yeah, what is that? How's that work? He's well, gift. he's got to pay five hundred dollars for a gift, so he's got to he, he, do an extra show. He bought a gift, and it's here. Oh, mm-hmm. awesome! We haven't f- still figured out the uh, intricacies of how we're gonna. We don't know how to Yankee swap. Yeah, I mean, that's the. We'll just do it. We'll figure itself out. Yeah, yeah, it always does. We'll make the we'll get the best gift. I'll get the worst, and then in the middle, we'll just figure it out. I, I think that was, they're all good. And that was a foregone era. Getting me getting the the best thing. That that was once, and now I'm a nostalgic guy, though. Ron. The the tides have flipped, my good man, Brandon. <laughs> uh, did everybody? Does everybody think they got a good gift? Did everybody give yeah. a gift to Spider? Yes. Yes. I didn't. I, I wrapped it myself. I didn't feel like I needed to have Whoa. have have Spider do it. Well, the point of that was so you don't know which yeah, gift so is yours. So now everybody will know which one is Brandon's. No, it's it's no. Yeah, no. That, that yeah, it's you the missed one the that's point. In the different no, the whole point was oh, you're all such a the good gifts. Guy. I got the wrapping paper off Spider's desk. Ah. But your wrapping technique can't be the same as Spider. I don't know. Whatever Katie's wapping technique is my wrapping uh, technique. <laughs> so her. Oh, okay, got it. Huh. Yours would be worse than Spider's, but hers is better than Spider's. Mm-hmm. So whatever the. Best rap. It's going to be at least rapping. equal to, and probably better. Yeah. Kyle, how's your head, man? Yeah, how was the neurology? It was worthless. What did they do? It was him. It was like he was like oh. by late seventies. Like he was, he kept pausing to take a call from like the guy 
fixing his car. <laughs> what? He was he didn't care. Like he was googling my symptoms, just saying, <laughs> "Hey, maybe it's maybe it's this." Um, maybe that was all part of the test. Like, so you're just tired. Maybe did you try Adderall? Like, dude, that brother. <laughs> That's part of the problem. Um, I think you have like the post-COVID. Like, he mentioned that um, on COVID, holy, like the concussion. That like, just seems too pussy to, to be what I'm feeling. Right. Anytime I see someone talking about long COVID, I'm yeah. like, you're a pussy. Yeah. Suppress that. Pretend that's not going on. I'm. I don't need. Oh, so, to so he now. didn't give you anything to fix your life. Thank you. Um, I have to get an MRI, MRI and see like an epilepsy doctor, but I oh, don't no. think. Oh What if just, you had epilepsy? No, it's not. That's just like, a, just in case. If you had to wear a helmet all the time. No thanks. Because you might seize up. Right, what give, it, give me another you, one, Brandon. Do you, do you think he, like him calling his his car? Do you think that was part of like the neurologist test? Be like, can like let's see this guy's patience. Uh, it, it was it was like from a movie. He was like, right, I gotta get this. T- I gotta text him. And he was texting real slow and like narrating what he was saying. Dude, old doctors are so funny because it's like, when did you lo- uh, when did you go to school? <laughs> exactly. Like, I, I I got my I had to go get a steroid shot for my back a couple years ago. And the dude was like, yeah, I'm retiring at the end of this year. He was like 85. He dropped the needle as he was about This guy to may have in. been in his 80s. Yeah. It's like you went to, there's he no was way like, that you're yeah. up to date on medicine. So what are you feeling again? <laughs> headache? And I was like, no, not it's not a headache. Oh. But you're tired? Yes. Do, do they have like, con- I would assume they have continuing education courses, right? But those can't be that hard. Once you're a doctor, you're just a doctor. Yeah, you're in. Yeah. yeah, no, you're in forever. It's like your license. Mm-hmm. With their like civil war technology, you probably, probably try to like leech the fucking Light this red. headache out of it. Yeah. Take some opium, you'll be fine. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Neurologist. Man, work. What a piece of shit. Nah. How did you get linked in with him? Maybe you just need a different neurologist. Maybe you need a y- young, spunky one. I would love a young man. Like a Grant Carter. What about a woman? 10X Health or something. Or a woman. Would you do 10X I prefer health? a woman. I get more comfortable around women. Hell yeah, you do. That's my boy. With a male doctor, you kind of feel like a pussy. When, yep. Especially when you start saying what you're feeling. And you're like, there's, oh, shit, this is nothing. There's an element of any time you're with a male doctor where they like give you a look and being like, like yeah. are you sure you're like, yeah, you want me to yeah. do these tests? Like, yeah. Ah, fuck, you're That's right, toxic dude. masculinity, and we're plagued with yeah. it. Yeah. That's why men die young. Yeah. They don't go to the doctor. You guys get a physical from a woman doctor? I got my, well, I got my physical la- when I went to the doctor last week. She didn't touch my anything. Yeah, I have she a woman touch doctor. Your Is it, it ocular now? Is it just looking at you? It's just pretty much looking at you, and you have to, like, just show that you can move your arms. Did she l- see your balls? No. No, I was clothed. Oh. Last time I went to get a physical, I, I, uh, the doctor was like, here, put on this robe, or, like, or, like, change, and I'll come back. And I got fully nude, and he walked in, and he's like, what? And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it was bad. I hadn't got a physical in a long time. Right. I was like, I thought you. I thought I was supposed to take off my pants so you could look at my nuts. I don't think I've gotten a physical since high school. Yeah, should we get physicals? That's, I can't do male gynecologists. I'm always, a little part of me is always like, why did you pick that route? I thought yeah. you were talking about why gynecologists for males. Yeah. Yeah. Easiest <laughs> no, job in the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, should we all get physicals no pussy? And, and post yeah. it? No. Mm-mm. You have why to guess not? Who's? Oh, man, that would be fun. A game. I'd why wouldn't you? It. Yeah, why wouldn't you want to know what, what's All right. wrong? Yeah. I used to, every time. I've avoided my, physicals for a long time. Long time. When Rite Aid had, like, the, the blood pressure things, I would play with that while my parents were yep. shopping. Have you had the hand up your butt? <sighs> Once, but it was I was, like, 20. I don't know why it happened. Are you supposed to do it when you're you 40? I haven't had the adult version. One T? You got to do it. Yeah, I, I don't remember why. Why I, I think I was uh, going through some things. Don't they have a? Was this an? You experiment. It was a doctor. It was a okay. Doctor. Don't they have it now that they don't have to put the hand up your butt? They like, don't. Isn't there a machine? Really? I don't know. They can just look. I'm hoping that I've basically been for the last five years been terrified of getting forty for that reason. Hoping technology will get to a point where they can yeah. like point a, like a laser pointer and be like, "You're good." Uh-huh. Right, I get the old prostate checked. Yeah. We had to do like a pill with a little camera on the front. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just goes like the magic school bus all the way through. Yeah. Tells you what's going on. 
What if it's awesome? Not. What if it feels great? Yeah. And you're like, what? damn, I've been putting this off. You are I've you're been all, all along. Out. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Fuck. It's a hoot up there. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> From what I've heard. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. So we got to get physicals. <laughs> Steven, do you get a physical every year? Oh, sh- like oh free. yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. They're free. They're supposed to. <laughs> you love it. It's like. <laughs> I don't get fingers on my butt. <laughs> not yet. Yeah, you should. No, not yet. Why not? Why not get ahead uh, of it? I'm not that age. So what do you do when they, when, like, what do they do in the physical? Do the stethoscope, cough, ask your height and weight, ask you, or they take your height and weight, they ask you any changes, been drinking, smoking, whatever. Pretty much it. Check out your nuts for a second. So they do check out your nuts. Yeah. Just your mine nuts, hasn't. Not your butt. You wait, you don't get your nuts checked out? Not in my physicals. I have a woman doctor. That'd be so, assault. I get, I've gotten uh, that from a woman doctor. You get hard? No. Not even a little? Liar. Too much it, self-control. Is it ever just oh. a, a coincidental boner? I don't get those anymore. That's High sad. School. Oh, High dude, school, you might even want to get that checked out. Yeah, you should. <laughs> you don't get one that just randomly every now and then? <laughs> coincidental boner? Or just accidental? NRB, no reason boner? Yeah. 37. You might want to get that checked out. Your libido is probably trash. Sounds like you have a low libido. You you right ran- no, dude. My it doesn't happen often. Testosterone is not peak, but like. <laughs> Bang him, huh? It's elite, elite. How do you, you know have that? elite testosterone? Yeah, I do. How do you know? Yo, how do you know? Elite's a little bit stronger. Oh, word. no. We're, this is where we always get at these lines of questioning. Steven's like right about to tell us how much sex he has. But he, do- he doesn't have that a crazy amount. Is when you do have sex, you just you're crazy. You're a fucking monster. <laughs> I, I, I prefer not to go any further with this stuff. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> no, it's I, not, I it's also not would. Pre- I also would prefer not to go any further <laughs> with this. But the man just bragged about bragged about elite testosterone. Yeah, you got no. You, you yeah. have to figure yeah, out. Come on now. I dig at this elite. What makes it elite? <laughs> you got Pro Bowl testosterone. Do you test it? <laughs> yeah. You do, are your it? levels yeah, wait, high? How do you know? I feel like I have a pretty good idea. I guess you're right. I don't have a comparison. Oh, so you don't sample. know? Yeah, you have no idea. But if I have low T, then I don't want to see what high T is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the world cannot handle a high T, Stephen Shea. <laughs> are you saying that your loads are like just that big? Are they enormous? No comment. You yeah. said elite. Elite You have to back it up somehow. Is this based on sexual things or like athletic or physical? How you feel? Sexual. I don't want to go any further. Sexual. So then it's sexual. It's, of course. Which means that he's coming a lake. <laughs> I think he's bluffing. Okay. You're entitled to believe. C- come reason. against him. Oh. <laughs> come on. Let's, come off? Let's come. Yeah, who can come, come against him. Sir? Come at him. Come at me, bro. Can they do that on Jackass? You're a fucking like, tummy like, nutter, so we didn't go on that far. Oh, yeah. Then they test their sperm counts. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Clem got into it with a guy that did like jerk off battles on Twitter, yeah, like wank a battles. Ago. Wank battles, yeah. It was a woman lover 007. Would you rather have a it. small amount of of nut? jizz, b- nut? Thank you, with a ton of sperms in it, or like a huge amount of nut, which is a couple sperms in it? What's the difference? Like, what would you rather know? Like, what would make you feel more like, all right, like yeah, it's not a lot, but there's a ton of sperms in there. I don't know. I don't have a preference really. I guess. I don't know. Dense? Quality over mm. quantity? Yeah. Well, what's the quantity here? Sperms. But isn't jizz just like a lot of like... Water? Water with... I don't know. Salt? Yeah, I don't know. You got to ask your neurologist. Yeah. <laughs> that too. Google it for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is in sperm? I don't really know. Don't These yak hats are sick. Yeah, they are. Would wet ruin the Christmas... Oh, my God. This is all I have. Yes. This is the only clothes I have. I didn't even yeah. think about that. Yeah. Did I probably bring a, a second outfit? Oh yeah. Well, yes. I don't have dress. I brought. Suit. No, this is what I. This is my fit. <laughs> really? This is my Christmas fit. Yeah. I brought a sweater. I brought really dumb. I don't have a, a shoot. I have some festive stuff for everybody. Cool. That's really what you brought? Yeah. Where, where would this I want to be Christmas the disappointed at? like mom in the group, but like we said, dress up for Christmas, not Dia de las Muertes. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I got jeans on. Yeah, that is unlike you're dressed. That's true, unlike yeah, you. That's true. If we're doing like levels of what you usually dress as, you are dressed up. Yeah, 
Those are sick jeans, too. With a big-ass pocket. Yeah, look at this. That's a huge pocket. Are those cargo pockets or no? Elite pocket. You want to spin our wheel? Yeah, let's see what the fuck our I'm wheel excited says. For, I'm excited to see Tyler O'Day. So excited. We have to make sure he doesn't post that the list until the episode comes. Yeah, no, I told him it was taped and it's going to air next Friday. So he's aware. All right. Okay, we got us something. Okay. All right. It's going to be TJ, and it's going to be <laughs> wet. <laughs> yeah. All right. Mm. All right. Or I think it's going to be. Yeah, it just ends, ends forever. Yeah. There's always that possibility when you get to the name wheel. Is there a doomsday device? It, 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 yeah. My wheel has a, a 1% yak ends forever. <laughs> it's good to have. It's healthy to have. Yeah, it's nice to have that hanging over you. Yeah, right. Live like we're dying. Is that Tim McGraw? It is. Mm-hmm. Went skydiving. Who knows what's going to happen? Rocky Mountain climbing. Yeah. New Man Shoe. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Always TJ. Jesus Christ, TJ. Something's amiss. <laughs> You've gotten this every time. And it's That's wet on TJ's? Yes. Classic, classic, classic wet. wet. Oh, no. Yeah, this could be a catastrophe. But we did it, so it's off. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Well, let's hope for hibachi. Is it milk? Oh, I think we gotta to reconfigure that other wheel. The fact it keeps on landing on TJ, that shit is not that shit is improbable. Oh, Hibachi would be so awesome. What Could is Hibachi just going or having someone come? I'd like to have the chef come we in. Should have the chef mm-hmm. come in, yeah. Just cook it right there. You can wow. hire Hibachi guys now. I like when they you have to catch stuff in your mouth. Yeah. Never have done it. Never caught it? Never caught. Damn. I don't know how you, you do been it. Called upon to catch? Oft. Really? Yeah. I'm a prime target there. I'm elite at catching things in my it, mouth. I've never, I don't know how to do it. You are good. I've seen you I'm do it. I'm very good at it. I'm good at it too. You made me throw something at you like across the room. And hey, maybe we have a contest during the Christmas special. We go get some goldfish, see wow. what's better. Yeah. Wait, I've done that with you too, haven't I? I'm good at it. Yeah, you yeah. are good. Yep. All right, we'll have a contest. Who's better? Yeah. What is it, out of 10, maybe? Yeah. That's out of 10. The objects get larger. <laughs> okay, spin it. No milk, no milk, no milk. Yeah. What flag does that look like, Kyle? Uh, Cuba. Puerto Rico, Puerto Chile. Rico. Oh, this is the worst. no. Hell yeah. Uh, is it? So what does this mean? So someone's going to have to. have to be a mediocre football team. They have to wear all the TJ's Rutgers gear for an entire day, and do they have to go to a game? Yeah, we should go to a game together. Yeah. We I should. mean, we have to go to a game you together. You have to. Yeah, all or right. A, a, an event at Rutgers of your choice. So, Kyle, we, we can go to a wrestling meet if you wanted to. Wearing all Rutgers gear. Um. So the, the day that we you have to go basketball, wrestling, whatever it may be, you got to come in that day wearing all Rutgers gear, and then you and TJ go. I would go, I would go to a wrestling meet. On a Rutgers meet. date. Yeah. A jewel concert? That's nice. That would be nice. A, a jewel concert? Is she yeah. from Rutgers? Yeah, she would be to Rutgers. At Rutgers. How do you know this stuff? Remember when Jewel just put on a fake nose and just sang his Jewel? I, Everyone was like, I love that Whoa. video. Uh-huh. It was a big Yeah, episode. she's a, a really good nose, singer. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was like, how does this mildly attractive woman, how is she doing that? <laughs> yeah, it was, it's, it's, all, it's like uh, whenever... Whenever like uh, like the third wide receiver, like a special teams player, does like the I worked at Dick's Sporting Goods for a day, and no one recognized. I know. Me. It's like, like yeah. yeah, dude. That's... Or the opposite when like yeah. Shaq is the mystery Uber driver. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <it is. laughs> like takes off his glasses. He's like, like I'm what? Shaq. <laughs> Remember when Macklemore dressed up and uh, in like a disguise, but it was just like the most anti-Semitic Jew costume of all. <laughs> he did a concert with, yeah, him, yes. and, and he yes. tried to be like, I just got a random costume. I grabbed a weird, a beard, and a witch's nose, and a, and a wig, and a prayer shawl. It was just so <laughs> English. It was very, yeah, yeah. He's probably wow. there. It was, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Was that after Lil Dicky came out? Or probably before? Probably a little bit before. before. Oh, we're spinning to see who's going with TJ. It's going to be Brandon. It's going to be me. (laughs) Oh! Roan! Rutgers Day! Returns to (laughs) campus. I love Rutgers. Yeah, we got Let's go to a basketball game. All right. Penn State? 
Oh, that would hurt. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Penn State basketball. Uh, or I would love to even go to like a – who's the best game on their schedule? I'm looking right now. Mm. You could go oh, to – Oh, we could cheat it. Michigan State plays at MSG. Rutgers, Michigan State. Oh, wow. Perfect. Uh, I might go right. too. I want to go to that. I love going to right. basketball okay. games. We might all just do Rutgers Day. No, no, no. It's my thing. We, we can't wear Rutgers gear. Yeah, we can't wear Rutgers gear. We play uh, we wear Michigan Maryland. State. I would love to. The Spartans. Good logo. I noticed. Op logo? Uh, the look at the UAB logo. You ever seen that one? Oh, it's awesome. Blazer? Dragons. Yeah, the UAB logo is incredible. Wait, who is the top logo you said? Michigan State's is good. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Look at that logo. Oh, that I don't think that's good. That looks like a. It's a great logo. I don't think that looks like clip art. Yeah, clip art. Oh, yeah, that's clip arty. Are... TCU's having a. Oh, I like it in that. Oh, I like that. TCU's having a big moment with the Horn Frogs. Oh yeah, what's that's going a cool on with logo. them? Because they're in the college football playoff. Oh yeah, Doing, it like is a cool hitting logo. the toads. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's a cool logo. Yeah, it's good. Black and purple is cool. Who's got the coolest college logo? Uh, wow. It's a tough question. I liked uh, the uh, Oregon Donald Duck. Mm. Yeah, LSU used to have when it was the tiger caricature, but now it's just the letters and it's not as good. I feel like UCLA, that, that Bruin is pretty cool, I want to say. I don't think of them as that as that is their logo, though. Yeah, that's true. Oh, the Sun Devils. Oh, here we, helps. Go. Here we helps. go. This helps a lot. This helps Old a Miami lot. Old Miami one was sweet. That someone just I actually do love Colorado. That's not pandering to Coach Prime. I love I the, the beaver. Buffalo is cool as fuck. Whatever that little beaver is. I think Auburn has Oregon State? Though. Is that? I don't know. Mississippi State worse. Sorry, Brandon. That's bad. It is yeah. bad. I, yeah, it, it's not great. The name. Oh, that's the Chanticleers. The, Ra- the Razorback and the Gator are pretty cool. The Razorback is very cool. I feel like a bulldog is always cool. The one with muscles, like in Mountain There's West. No. I'm tired of people thinking Washington State's is good just because the it's it's a bad WS and C. Why is yeah. uh, NC State has a great oh, one. Oh, Kentucky's well, is great. Time, time. NC State's is great. Why Why is this anti-Texas? What? It's Big Game Boomer posted it. Hey, Texas uh, is upside down. Yeah, that's what Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> What in the hell? Yeah, I like I, I like NC State's. I also like um, ECU and Tulane. The AAC has some good ones. Yeah, ECU the Pirate. One of always. I mean, Miami is classic. Yeah, I love Miami. I don't yeah, care for I like the use. Tulsa suck. It's just a fucking hurricane warning flag. The Big Ten is pretty much bad. Yeah, not great. I would say the Hawkeye maybe. Northwestern's is the worst. That's a bad end. It's too many block. Letters. That's a bad end. Penn yeah, State. it is too many State block cool. letters. You're State right. States is cool. You gotta fix that. I like just letters. I like V. You like letters? I like Virginia Tech's a lot. You like letters, huh? Not their colors, though. I think Texas Texas Tech is the worst. A lot go. It's busy. Rage and Cajuns are missing a chance for good imagery. Yeah. It should be a drunk, drunk like southern really, guy. Yeah, yeah. really yeah. sunburnt guy. A picture of Piece of straw coming out of his mouth. Mm-hmm. The old Hofstra logo before it got changed, the Flying Dutchman was a very good logo. Can I see it? Why did they change it? Uh, like, Don't tell me it went was woke. offensive. They went woke? It was offensive, it was offensive yeah, yeah. Flying like, Dutch. Like when I was in, so like Why? 2003 or 2004. Is it What's, because of, uh, were the Dutch upset? Yeah, do they not fly? What's the... It's kind of like dehumanizing uh, them, making them out to be creatures up. who could... Mm. Rare born. Are people upset with the Fighting Irish as well? Yeah, there's been. Uh, I don't think like a lot, but I feel like there have been. That's also like a very funny thing. Whenever like Irish people, and I am part of Irish, so I can say it's like Irish people are like we actually are the most persecuted people. Like, oh, okay, yeah. you should say no blacks, <laughs> no Irish. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, what? Yeah. yeah. Shut up. We, it used to be we could only work as cops. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we could only be bankers. <laughs> we could only be the rich elite. <laughs> Wasn't right. Uh, yeah, it, Irish and Italian, whenever they're like, we're actually persecuted. It's like, okay. That's what the, the Romanis or the Gypsies or what they're trying oh, to there's claim a persecution, trying to cancel Tom Segura. Saw that. Really? For what? He made a joke, Making a, a joke about him. A, a, a gypsy joke. Oh. My I mean, did God. you see Tom Segura, like, maybe the funniest thing ever? They, Tom and Bert get each other more expensive gifts for their birthday oh, every yeah. single year. Can you find this clip? Oh, my God. So, Tom, I won't give it away. TJ, can you find the clip of him giving Bert uh, his birthday present this year? 
I want you guys to watch it because it is one of the funniest things ever. So every year they have to get a ex- more expensive gift. So like, Bert got him a Tom a race car. Tom got Bert like, uh, like a hundred miles on a private jet. Like they just keep one upping each other, mm-hmm. so that like <clears throat> their birthdays are a big deal. And they both have been like, I don't know how we're gonna like keep one upping each other. Um, I can try to find it. It's so no good. Broke. It's so funny. I've heard about it, but I haven't watched it. You would love it, Brandon. I think I've seen like on Instagram. Yeah. House this is Wackenfeld okay. on the Ober. Okay, he kept upset was at the House Wackenfeld on the Ober Salzburg. And in 1936, Gertie Troost, whose husband was Hitler's architect, was she was his interior designer. She had that teacup set uh, at her apartment in Bad uh, <laughs> Reichenhall, and a man named Isaac Hahn was gifted it. He sold it to an unknown collector who later sold it to a man named Richard Michael Colliker, who sold it once more to the unnamed party and we acquired it, and there is basically a 99% probability that you're holding something that the Fuhrer drank from. <laughs> at his, yeah, that's good. Home. Hitler's mug, coffee mug. This is Hitler's coffee. That was Hitler's coffee. Yeah. <laughs> that's his gift. Oh, my, oh my God. God. All time. <laughs> Put it to your lips. Put it to your lips. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'd be pumped oh, to get cool. that. It was so expensive, Happy I'm birthday. sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh my awesome. god, what a psycho. Oh. <laughs> what a fucking nut. Oh man. Uh. Those guys are funny. So they're trying to cancel Tom? No, nah, it was one uh, oh. run guy. It, they better try and cancel Fleetwood Mac, dude. If they, anybody who talks about gypsies, they're still singing about They're gypsies. big on my TikTok algorithm. And my God, I mean, I'm not making fun of them. I guess Gypsy, I don't want to say the wrong thing. Can you say it? I don't know. I don't don't think. I don't know, but holy shitballs. That's a... I have a feeling, too, that that Tom won't really care. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sending you another one, TJ. It's like one 18-year-old kid. No, he won't. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sending you one other clip that he had that made me laugh so hard that I, like... The energy, like, more people should have this energy that he has where he's just like, fuck everyone. That's that's the best part about the comedians now is, like, they all have, like, their own podcast and Patreon, so they can literally just say fuck you to yeah. everyone. Yeah. It's a good level. Which, like, is, like, the reverse. When people are, like, comedy's dying, it's actually, like, probably never been more alive because people are insulated to a point where they can take any risks they want to take. And you can buy the comedy you want to see. Yeah. yeah. You can opt in. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, but it's just the fans consuming it. So right. you're not gonna the people who don't like him aren't even gonna see it. Right, it and is so happening. It's disingenuous when the people who don't like him try to like cancel these guys because it's like you didn't opt in. Like yeah. you, you're just flying by and being like he shouldn't say this. As opposed to like the only comedy you saw was on Johnny Carson or something. Yeah, right. Like that like right. they can regulate that if like everybody has to have their say in that because it's publicly consumed. If it's privately consumed, what are you seeing, Brandon? Oh, it's Ohio. A, you have a bet? Yeah, it's the over. It's dead. Okay. Oh. Just checking in on the Bahamas Bowl. This is this. Is it. Or a car? <laughs> I'll get this uh, like a, a bunch of messages from losers that <laughs> try to tell me that mm-hmm. I'm I'm making them feel bad about their situation. You're in control of your own situation. And your own feelings. So don't put it on me that you feel bad that I have something that, oh, but I, I'm struggling with rent this month. Figure it the fuck out, okay? <laughs> like, don't make my life be a problem for your life. If you don't like it, guess what? You're not going to be able to control what people talk about. People are going to talk about things that you don't have for the rest of your fucking life. Here's the thing. If you're, if you're still mad about this, just know that it's your mindset and your thinking like a fucking loser, but you don't have to. You don't. You can change the way you think, but you have to accept the way you're thinking right now is not going to get you anywhere. You're being bitter. You're being petty. You're insecure. You're not confident. If you just sit around and you, you know what? You only have what you have because of fans. So don't talk about us like that. Yeah, but you're still a loser if you're thinking like that. <laughs> you're maybe uh, 
I'm lucky to have you as a loser fan, but <laughs> you don't have to be that way. You could be a winner. Every time uh, we talk about, uh, like, that's I like hilarious. Bert's listening face. Yeah. He's got a good. Bert's a cheat code for podcasts. You can literally just sit him down and he just talks. You don't have to ask him a question. Yeah. Great storyteller. Shit is sweet. What an absolute gem. What a fucking stud. Ron, you've been too busy, man. You look good, too, right now. We should all wear suits. I'm telling you guys, let's all get custom suits. Yeah. You look like a hot professor. Yeah. Yeah, what do you think I'm teaching? I don't know, okay. but you're fu- you're fucking a teaching lot of your fuck students. classes. <laughs> yeah, you are fucking all your students. Uh, Office hours are always open. I guess that's how it's got to be. <laughs> <laughs> Women's studies? Yeah, or philosophy or something. You think they they wear suits for philosophy? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think they're haggard yeah. looking for philosophy. Yeah, I think suits a little yeah. try hard for philosophy. Yeah, it's too um, bound to the earthly vessel. They're not wearing brand brand names. They're just yeah. Wearing. Philosophy might be just like one old suit coat, like maybe uh, Saint, yes. corduroy. With yeah. the patches Elbow on the yeah. yeah, and it's just stained and it's mm-hmm. just old. Yeah. You smell like like older coffee a little bit. Yeah. That like smell. Mm-hmm. Do you guys yeah. remember any of your college teachers? Names or anything? Oh, yeah. Um, no. I remember one teacher's name. Name? That's insane that I I don't. Or maybe two teachers' names. Fuck, I don't think I, I, I Not a single like name. One. Damn, that's crazy. You're so forgettable. I had a teacher that taught comedy writing named John Hrushka. He was, he was pretty good. And every day you had to come into his class and you had to have a joke prepared. And he'd call out five people to tell a joke. It's kind of sweet. Wow. Were the, Comedy were writing? the jokes good? Yeah, were they usually good? Or you could you you could like find a joke. You just had to practice telling it and standing up in front of people and shit like. Was that. it a useful class? I remembered his name, so I think that it, and like the comedy, like the textbook was just like famous comedy writing through time, which was pretty useful. I had a I had a professor. I did honors history, and he was like ninety years old. I don't think he read anything. He just gave me an A for everything. It was just awesome. remembered his Dude, life. It was so easy. <laughs> it was like. He just wouldn't have class because he'd just be napping. <laughs> it was just great. It was just that is sweet. Never had to do anything. I, history classes, you should just be able to watch movies of what happened. Yeah, documentaries. Yeah. <laughs> watch uh, documentaries and like Troy. It should actually be like the way they gender. should do it is they should just do a history class. It's documentaries, but you're just not allowed to have your phone with you. Yeah. Because you'd actually learn. Definitely. That's the fastest way to download some information. Right. Because every time I watch a documentary, I'm just like scrolling my phone. What were the um, like ancient Greek soldiers that were all like gay together? Spartans. Yeah. No, there was the Spartans, but then there was Don't like a, a gay. They were gay. Oh, they were the gayest, oh, Kyle. Oh, dude, yeah. the Romans. They would just. They would literally just Big eat. Time. They would eat grapes and get their dick sucked. Oh, that was like boys. Just like, a, like a war tactic. Oh no. Oh. You were but there it? was another. There was a whole other sect of. Uh, it was like uh, more, more like gayer than the Spartans, and they would like pair up, and they would be fucking each other, and they would just all fight to the death. Like they just were the most <gasps> badass metal warriors. I'm trying to think what. The sacred band. Yeah, an elite military unit of Thebes comprising Thebes? 150 gay couples. Yeah, it was Thebes. Wow. It was 150 gay couples from Thebes, and they were all just fucking <laughs> murdering and sucking. <laughs> yeah. Must have been awesome. What a life. Sucking and murdering. I watched. Yeah, they, would, they would eat until they puked, and then they would get their dick sucked. Really? Yeah. The Romans? The vomitorium. The they Romans would be, they were so gluttonous. They would just be like, yeah, they were the only people who had all the food, and they would eat till they just had to puke, and then just get sucked, yeah, and then get sucked off. That's how the the lower classes would get their nutrients. <laughs> it's like the, it's like the Jimmy V. It's like the Jimmy V. Speech. Like a uh, full day is like you gotta laugh, <laughs> yeah. you gotta cry, you gotta feel. It's like you gotta <laughs> throw you gotta up, puke. You gotta get, get sucked. sucked by a boy. <laughs> yeah. Go to war. Wake up, drink, war, gay sex. Watch yeah. some dude get his head r- ripped off by a lion. Yeah. And that's a fulfilling day. Go to bed with a smile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's when you know you've ah. had yourself a day. Ron, you're grumpy. Did you not have gay sex today? <laughs> <laughs> you not puked yet? <laughs> and, do you, and there's definitely, like, since it was, like, so popular for them to be gay, there's definitely straight guys who are, like... Like eating their vegetables, like, <laughs> yeah. getting sucked off with a icky face. <laughs> I don't like it. 
It was just popular. It was just the way of the world. It was. Time. It was just what was in. Yeah. I watched uh, The Last Samurai for the first time on this Red Eye flight. Have you guys ever oh. seen that? I remember my oh. first Last Samurai. It was awesome. Yeah. It was fucking really good. Tom Cruise. Yeah, Tom Cruise. He learns quick. Yeah, he really picked up Samurai pretty quick. Makes it seem like not that hard. Tom Cruise is a really good actor, huh? Yeah. He's the last movie star. Is he? People he's say the, he's that, but he's not, is he? He's the only one that his name's still bigger than the title. Yeah, you like, might be right. The la- Would uh, Leo? Like maybe. Last movie star. Last action star. Yeah, like... I feel like Chris Pratt's moved into an action star with the. No, but no. that's not. No, no, no. When Tom Cruise is in a movie, so. it's Ooh, talked about. He's not as big a star, but he's it's an a action Tom star. Cruise movie. Right. Okay, but he's he's an action star. He's not a big a movie star as Tom Cruise, but Guardians of the Galaxy, Jurassic World, like he's been in action a lot of action movies. Like Tom Cruise in person, like I don't want to like him. Everything he does, I'm like, oh, Tom Cruise. But then I see a movie that he's right. in, and I'm like, he's fucking great. That was great. Separate the art yeah. from the artist. Yeah. Top Gun 2 was great. He was Incredible. Great. Tom Cruise would have been a great gay Thebian soldier. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Because he's short. <laughs> what's the, uh, Super short. What's the football movie? All, all the right moves. Yeah. <laughs> Can't get pussy. He's so short. He's 5'7". <laughs> he's is that just intense. I was just saying he's intense. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, Roback, Roback.com. Use code YAK for 20% off your first purchase. R-H-O-B-A-C-K dot com. They got Q-zips, polos, hoodies, joggers, my favorite joggers in the world. They wear them all weekend long. Roback has the most comfortable clothes you could ever put on. I'm wearing a Roback hoodie right now. See that? Mm-hmm. Very nice. So comfortable. Uh, their golf shirts are comfortable. Their joggers. Their polos, which is golf shirts. Their but Q-zips. Long sleeve or... Long sleeve shirts that they have. Yeah, they sponsored the college football show. We, Brandon and I, just were swimming in Roback. Yeah. Said the vests on. Oh, the vests. Yeah, Brandon started wearing a vest after I did. They gave me the vest to wear. I wore it first. You, you got it at the same time though. Right. But who put it on first? You did, I guess technically. <laughs> I rest my case. Roback's so good. Brandon will copy me for it. That's a great advertisement, actually. Yeah. Brandon sees that. He says, "I want that mm-hmm. online. I want that." Roback.com for 20% off your first purchase. Use code YAK. Highly, highly, highly recommended. Roback is the most comfortable clothes out there. Promo code YAK. So we need to make the transition to Christmas soon? Yeah. We're going to have to do a whole, we're doing a whole change of the room too. Yeah. Are we? Yeah. There's a Christmas tree. There's decorations. Some snow. It's going to be awesome. I tried to find horchata and all that stuff at the liquor store, the... Away, the little yeah, one. and I couldn't, so I have to make. I, I don't know, because are we just doing eggnog? Is yeah, I, uh, we went out and got well. fifteen bottles of eggnog for us. Can we just drink eggnog. I don't want these crazy concoct. What are you doing? Mm. Orchata. She about said eggnog. <laughs> you okay? No. Jeff Dilo no. said this is the best eggnog you can get. Do you like some clam like chowder? The Whole Foods no. eggnog. <laughs> <That's what laughs> yeah, one person has to drink. Uh, it's also chowder. just coming off being like violently ill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, same. I'm. I, I need like a Pepto Bismol uh, before this. Dude, oh no! Oh my, you have the same thing as me then. Yes. Oh my god. I mean, I think I had it last week. Even in Target last night. I'm sorry, but good god, because I hadn't eaten since lunch here. But I have like little nibbles. And I needed something, and so my go-to when I feel sick is milkshakes, because I tell myself your stomach Ooh. is oh that's bad. bad. Oh, no, but hear me out. My milk stomach. You're not when your stomach milk. is empty, because there's like nothing in my system, it's all acid. So how do you counteract an acid with a base? What's a base milk? What's in a milkshake? Milk. So I always tell myself when I'm sick, <laughs> nice have coat. a milkshake. A milkshake. And it no, comes. that's got to be. But dairy is it's gonna. It's got to be the worst thing. I don't you can think have of it as dairy. It. I think of it as a base. Oh, you don't how think you of think it of it? What are you talking? <laughs> I do. How I mean. you think of it doesn't play into how your body acts. I, I mean, if it doesn't make you feel bad. My she said it does make her feel bad. Oh yeah, of course. Well, it did last night. It did last night. I stopped at Burger King, got a milkshake, thinking like that'll create a solid like base around my stomach lining, and it didn't. Um, it's an acid forming food. Milk. Uh-oh. What? Milk is not a base. Uh-oh. Wait, what? Mo, I've been Lactic acid. Been that for about 20 years now. Whoopsies. KB, what are you going to do? You've been sober. I'm going to stay sober. I want you guys to drink. Thank you. When I'm sober, I love when people get fucked up around me. Yeah, I, I bet. better about myself. Yeah. yeah. Are we you have, just going to have the non alcoholic Yeah, they could just have the eggnog. Uh, yeah. Just have the milk. That might be worse. Yeah, honestly. It'll make you want to drink. At least I'll be drunk and sick. <laughs> yeah. 
I, I definitely had the same thing, Kate. I had some bad scallops the other day, and I woke up Oof. like the fucking Undertaker and had to poop sand for about a half hour. <laughs> it was nice. That's right by the beach. Bad. Oh. Right by the beach, boy. I feel bad for Pat because every time like I had to like report each time, like this is what it was like this time. This oh. is what it was like this time. <laughs> you were logging never your logs? Happy. Yeah, we're not, like never. Yeah. I could see you having a, uh, a house with like <laughs> a uh, shake move. It's just so crazy. I've yeah, always so done crazy. that. Always. So crazy. Yeah. Are you gonna stop now that you ju- with it, your new that, finding? I wish I ignorance is bliss, and I wish I didn't know that. It is funny the things that you like the medicine you yeah. trick yourself into thinking. I yes. tell myself too, your stomach's like hot and acid, so get something cold. Yeah, and, no, and like a base, and that's what I've always done. It's like when I got my, I had a kidney stone because I just was. I thought I was going to get COVID, and I just started inhaling vitamin C to the point oh. it built up. <laughs> that was stupid. There's nothing. They tried. I was like, I could beat I this. Trying to do something. Just give me all the vitamin C. Do they give you the option of, like, we'll remove it, or you have to pee it I out? I peed or no? it out. It hurt a lot. Oh, that sounds terrible. That's a nightmare. Yeah, that Bad. sounds terrible. Have any of you had them? Kidney uh, but I, I'm lucky that I was able to, like, when people have it and they have to get, like, lasers. Or like a hook. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. How long does it hurt for from the time the pain starts to like? I think I was lucky because it was like not a kidney stone that's like, you know, like a ye- like your lifetime buildup. Like I think yeah. Large has had that. Ugh. Mine was like strictly because I just overdosed on vitamin, <laughs> vitamin C. C. So it was about a day where I like my dick hurt and then it was like, oh, I like peed out a rock. I was like, Oop. that's probably there it that. is. Yeah. Have you seen them under a microscope? Yeah, they're crazy. It's like razor. It's yeah. like yeah. sharp little. Yeah. Good times. And how do you uh, how do you prevent that? Just so <laughs> yeah. hydration, maybe? I don't know. Mm. Not a lot. Don't no. take vitamin C to Not the point hydration. where you overdose on it. That's what it is. Uh, is it salt? Or no, is I, it, uh, I think vitamin I, deposit. Like I think there's point? other like the long term kidney stones, like Large had, and I think PFD had them. Those are different than what I I just literally took so much vitamin C that it just built yeah. up in your rock penis. in my dick. Yeah. That's hilarious that that's where it built up. Yeah. Do you ever you see go anywhere else? Tonsil stones? Have you seen oh, that? Oh, they're disgusting. I accident. I was scrolling and saw a video of it. Have you? Have they you heard of this? Right tonsil out. stones? I get them. No. The doctor. I when I was before. a kid, I, I used to tell my mom like I just got this rock in my mouth, and she'd be like, Ah, oh, no, like whatever. And I I just saw this video, and I was like, Oh my god, I think that's what that was. Yeah. They smell they're so. The most foul yes, smelling dude, thing in they the world. stink. What I are saw they? this video where a doctor pushed on the tonsils and like. 15 stones came out of this guy's tonsils. Imagine I didn't know that was a that, thing. Though. Yeah. I had no idea until like, like yesterday. <laughs> back your they say like bacteria, like you know how like a clam makes a pearl? Mm-hmm. It's like a little piece of bacteria or something gets stuck in like the crevices of your tonsils. And it Imagine some like, 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 uh, yeah. <sighs> like civilization Gross. like 20,000 years from now, like mining our bodies for like tonsil stones that they yeah. wear as jewelry. I always think about like what happens in like tw- like. 3,000 years from now when they, like, dig up, like, uh, ar- ar- what is it? Archaeology? Uh-huh. Was, like, they just, like, find someone's braces? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, someone's oh, retainer. Like, yeah, like, what's this? Yeah. Some guy on uh, TikTok. They have metal teeth? Did we look at that on this show? The guy that buried the, uh, like, yeah. Jamie Hot Cheetos? Yeah. Like, uh, made a sarcophagus. Grow a tree? He made a sar- sarcophagus it's for like future 10, civilizations. Pounds. And it's, like, uh, it's, it's earthquake-proof, and, like, there's, it's, like, Completely protected. So ten thousand years from now, they we'll find flaming it. hot Cheetos. Yeah, just one That's suspended bag. That's a solid bag. bro move. Just one guy who did it for fun, right? Yeah, a he's solid like a bro genius move. engineer. Yeah, very solid. All right, so let's end the show now. We're gonna costume change. Reminder: Christmas special will be out next Friday. Mm-hmm. Um, who's in next week? I'm here all week. I'm here, I'm here all week. Here. Oh, I leave. Yeah. Or I might not be here Monday. I'm gonna be in Chicago. Not Friday. Yeah. So I'm here all till Thursday. Friday. Yeah, I'm okay. here all week. Awesome. Brandon, you're out. Yeah, I'm going to Wyoming because Roan uh, mm-hmm. declined and said, make Brandon go to that cold-ass state. I didn't know they picked you. <laughs> I'm your backup, apparently. <laughs> oh, that's not true. Yeah, you're the one who got got the run, <laughs> run off. All right. Well, yeah, see everyone Monday, and be ready for the Christmas special next Friday.
Have a good weekend, everybody. See you next week for the Christmas special.